the Pharaoh's Pyramid Seed House for the Afterlife. For thousands of years we've been taught how the Pharaohs built the pyramid tombs, which supplied all their needs in the afterlife. Even now, the elite of the world, who are in actuality, the Pharaohs of old, are preparing their doomsday seed vault on Svalbard Island, on the smaller Spitsbergen Island. Spitsbergen, another BNG word. This vault has had millions of dollars spent on it by the Gates Foundation, the Rockefeller Foundation and the government of Norway. The thing to keep in mind, is that they want us to know that this is what they're doing and that it's being done in the event of a world cataclysm of some sort. The message is clear, yet not too clear. The message is that disaster is on its way because they've suggested that it's on its way. Therefore our reality is manipulated into believing disaster is on its way, and as a result, the disaster occurs. This is hypnosis through subliminal suggestion. The elite pharaohs, Fa, Rose, have been using this Kabbalism technique and knowledge for thousands of years. The divine right to fuck with your head, this is the basis for their claim to the divine right of kings to rule. The divine right of kings to rule, should be more properly stated as the divine right of the corrupt to fuck with your head any time they see fit. They'll screw you at every turn, and lie and cheat and manipulate and sacrifice our children and every one of us, just to remain in power. At the same time, appearing as if they were just looking out for our own good. After all, didn't they propose building a doomsday seed vault to feed us in the event of a worldwide disaster? Bullshit. What they did was send a subliminal message that a worldwide disaster is going to occur. They created the reality, whereby, they created the cause and effect of the disaster through hypnosis by manipulating the light energy of the three-dimensional space through their egregore group-based thoughts. They know this is what they're doing. This is why the elite mingle with the elite. To maintain the arrogant spirit of elitism, which is demonism, that is perpetuated by intellectualism and religion. Of course, this is all an illusion that they've created, and as simply as it was created, it can be torn apart. Charitable organizations, do-gooders, joiners, Luciferian puppets, it's for this reason also that the most popular organization for firefighters, police, lawyers, judges, politicians, teachers, doctors and so on, to join, is Freemasonry, or any of the similar organizations such as the Knights of Columbus, Rotary International, Lions International, the Legion, the Elks, Jobs Daughters, the Chamber of Commerce, the Shriners, 32nd degree Freemasons with their Children's Burn Unit, National Cancer Society, and a whole myriad of other groups. All community-based charitable organizations draw their members from the religious and intellectual systems of the community. Everybody joins because they see the other people join and nobody wants to be left out, so they just ignore the inner knowing that's telling them how stupid the works of these organizations really are. After all, those other joiners are upstanding folks in the community. Upstanding folks who don't have a clue about what's really going on. Everybody joins because everybody joins. How absolutely insane. The words charitable organizations, sound so politically correct. Nothing could be further from the truth. There is more poverty, death, disease, war, terror, horror, greed perversion. You name it, and there have never been so many charitable organizations functioning in the world as there are right now. Somebody's jerking with us. In the United States, the National Cancer Society has their head office at Fort Detrick, the former center of bioterrorism for the United States military machine. Nothing has really changed except the sign on the door. These are the joiners in the world. The people who like to network. In other words, you jerk me off, and I'll jerk you off. That way you're joined at the hip through the sickening ritual of three-dimensional fear. These are the people, who are indoctrinated in the worship of the sun god. This pretty much includes every ambitious person on the planet. The purpose of these do-good groups is to implant unwittingly, on behalf of the Luciferian group entity, the suggestions concerning the disasters that the egregore mindset want to occur. Prepare for this disaster, or that hardship, or try to eliminate pain and suffering in other parts of the world all the while hoping it never happens to us. Yet, all the while, what really transpires, is the very hypnotic suggestion that will make it happen to us, and to everyone else in the world. Just keep reading this information, and in short order, your own personal trance will begin to break and the deep sleep will end. Insanity, the Luciferian's last wall of defense, of course, the trance state has built within it, the suggestion that this is all bullshit. No matter. Everybody will be just fine. There's no hell, no sin and no real death. However, if you want to assist in destroying the trance once and for all, continue reading and considering, that if this is an accurate assessment of the way things are, then this is also the way to end the lunacy once and for all. You will question your sanity as you begin to wake up, 
but persevere. Insanity is their last bastion of defense. Climb over that wall of insanity and reclaim the eternal state of power that they so diligently keep us disconnected from. Humanity is not in a battle with George Bush, the presidents of the United States, the royalty of the world or any of the other elite nutcases on this planet. The Luciferian duality gods would have us think that this is the case. We're not in a fight with any segment of humanity, no matter how inhuman they appear, because they're nothing more than another fragment of light manipulation. We're in a battle with the Luciferian egregore group of thinkers who use these weak and feeble puppets of stupidity to fulfill their agenda. The information on this site identifies who they are and how it is they manipulate and control. We, as humanity, have to attack that very power base and destroy it. The weapon at our disposal to perform this attack, is to be armed with the awareness of what's really taking place. It's that simple. We eliminate corruption, ignorance and stupidity with wisdom and knowing. Not intellectual knowledge or religious spirituality. Corruption and ignorance manifests itself in the lunatic forms of religion and intellectualism. Even the word lunacy equals lunacy equals moonsy is a subliminal that states the obvious, without being obvious. Lunacy is the worship of the lunar moon goddess, the goddess of the sky, who in turn is the mother of the sun god, which shows itself in spiritual and scientific clothing. Spiritual and scientific clothing manifests as thought, which are words, which are sounds, which are vibrations, that is energy, and energy glows and glowing is light. Thoughts are therefore, light. Light is the stuff you see. The word glow equals zylo, which is yellow equals yellow equals holy in reverse, which is holy. For this reason light, the glowing aspect of thought, is considered holy. This is the holy sea, this is the creator god, this is Luciferian thought formed into three-dimensional physical reality. However, it's only light. It's only hypnotic suggestion. It's only an illusion. Everything is of the Luciferian thought form and is designed to keep us disconnected from our power and eternal state of wisdom and awareness. By eliminating the source of stupidity, by exposing the lie, you eliminate the strings controlling the puppets, who in turn have used this stupidity to control humanity. Yes,